So well, welcome and look, thank you very much for joining us today. We are truly grateful that you've made time to be part of this event. After all, it's really only by participating in events like this that we really give ourselves a chance to think about the future, what the future might hold, and the opportunities that the future has in front of us. I hope you have all arrived in a mood to be challenged. Uh, we will have some truly amazing speakers today who will give you real pause for thought about what the future in the agri sector holds. Of course, today would not have been possible without the common vision and support of our two presenting partners, Callaghan Innovation and New Zealand Trade and Enterprise. When this project first started, it was a simple concept really to acknowledge our 50th anniversary. Just us giving something back to the sector, um, and a sector that's been our home for such a long period of time. As we developed this thinking, the importance of placing our shared future as the main theme of this conference really became uh, an exciting opportunity for us all. And our partners, uh, Callaghan Innovation and New Zealand Trade and Enterprise, really recognised the importance of fostering collaboration and developing further thought leadership. They quickly became champions. They knew that today would be about inspiring our sector's current and future leaders, and they acknowledged the importance of bringing clusters of business people together to, show, to solve a number of our industry problems. The energy and dedication of Sarah McFall, Ross Pearce and Emma Lewis in particular was truly instrumental in getting us here today, so thank you, particularly to you three, but to your two organisations. Today was also made possible by our sponsors. Agmart is now legendary in our sector for supporting businesses as they explore new opportunities and develop innovative ideas and develop leadership. They might only be a sprightly 18 years old, but the impact that they have on our sector is truly important. The primary sector has two long-term friends and partners in the BNZ and Vodafone. We've come to know both of them well and rely on their expertise and commitment to our business and to the sector as a whole. KPMG have very kindly lent us support in the form of Ian Proudfoot, their globally recognised agri-expert and the leader of their global agri-practice. He's well known to many of you. Ian and his team are a significant force in helping drive change in the agri-sector and we're really looking forward to Ian's presentation later today. We can't stand on the shores of this beautiful harbour without thinking and acknowledging uh, ATED. They have supported this event and they support the development of this most livable of New Zealand cities. Whatever your domestic base may be, Auckland is still our international city and our point of reference for much of our sector's global activity. A big thank you to AT for helping us bring this together. And lastly, as a product of our sector, it seems appropriate that an innovative leader like Yeland Wines would help us close our day. We've still got some work to do before we get to that, um, but we know that the rewards will be sweet or dry, depending upon your tastes. And again, thank you to Yeelands for your support. 50 years ago, TrueTest was founded on industry enabling technology. And 50 years on, the rate of change of technology and innovation around the world is truly phenomenal. Today's speakers will expand our thinking on some of these possibilities. They will encourage us to look at the world through different eyes and to consider our relationship with the future and a future that we can create, create together as the world's leading agricultural nation. It's now my real pleasure to hand you over to our MC for the day, Dr Michelle Dickinson. Michelle, or Nano Girl, as she's sometimes known, is one of our most recognisable scientists and regularly presents and writes on the principles and theories behind new technologies that will shape our future world. Michelle has a Master's in Engineering from Manchester University in Biomedical Materials and a PhD from Rutgers. She's a Senior Lecturer at Auckland University, was awarded the Sir Peter Blake Leadership Award in 2015. She is a gifted scientist, an amazing communicator, and I welcome Michelle to the stage.